In this video, we're going to take a look at the size of operator in C++. So this size of operator does exactly what its name indicates it should do, and it just simply returns the size of some particular thing. So let's say that we want to get the size of an int on my particular system. Uh, so I have a particular processor and a particular compiler on my system, and all that plays it apart in terms of what an int would be represented or how many bytes an int would be uh, represented by on this system. So uh, we'll say C out, just to do, uh, have something printed out. We'll do C out, and we'll say int, and then maybe colon, space, and then our insertion operator. And here's where we'll make use of the size of. We'll say size of, so that's the size of operator. And then we'll can put uh, a particular data type there in parentheses. So size of, open print, and we'll do int in this case. And it turns out that the size of operator returns uh, the size of that thing in bytes. So we'll just say uh, bytes over here, just to have uh, units associated with it, and we'll do an indel. So now that we have that, we'll save it, and then build it. Looks like everything built okay, and now we'll run it. So we can see here on the console that we have uh, four bytes being printed out here. And on my particular system, and I imagine a lot of systems that are running um, an Intel or AMD type processor, modern processor, with a GNU compiler that an int would be represented by four bytes. So let me uh, copy this line of code and I'm going to just paste it down below and we'll see what a uh, maybe a boolean looks like. So we'll say uh, boolean and then we'll do size of and the data type is just bool. We'll save that, build it, and run it. And you can see on this particular system that a Boolean value is one byte. So you can continue doing that for any of the data types. Now, you can also do this for other types of data as well. So say we uh, created an array. So we did maybe an int array. So we'll do int, and we'll say that the name of this array is A, and maybe it's a five element array. So what we'll do now is just do a maybe a C out, and we'll say exactly what we're trying to do. We're uh, getting the size of a uh, five element uh, int array. So the size of a five element int array is, and then we'll do space, and then the insertion operator, and then we'll do size of a, and then we'll add on the bytes. So just have a string there for bytes, maybe a period, and we'll do an indel. So go ahead and save that and then build it and then run it. And you can see here that the size of a five element int array is 20 bytes on the system. And that should make sense. So each, each uh, int that we have was four bytes in size. So if we have five four byte elements, then that would be a total of 20 bytes. So that makes sense. And you could also make use of the size operator to determine the number of elements that you have in an array. So you can probably already devise how that would work, uh, maybe in your head. But uh, let's take a look at that. We'll say uh, C out, insertion operator, and say the number of elements in the array A, so we have the array A here, is, and then we'll do the insertion operator, and get the size of A, so we get the total size of our array. And in order to get the uh, number of elements, we'll just simply divide that by the size of each individual element. So the size of each individual element is just going to be the size of an int, since we have an int array. And uh, let's see, we'll do maybe a period here on the end. And then an indel, and we'll see how this works. So the number of elements in the array, A, is, and then we'll just print out the number of elements and see how that works. So let's go ahead and save that and build it, and then run it. Uh, so we can see here it says the number of elements in the array A is 5, and that makes total sense, right? So we took the size of the array, uh, which was 20 bytes, and we divided by that uh, the number or the size of an int, which was 4 bytes, so 20 by 4 is 5, so that gives us the number of elements. So let's do one more calculation. Let's calculate the number of bytes associated with a pointer. So we'll say C out, and then do uh, the size of a, let's, let's say uh, an, an int pointer. So it's the size of an int pointer is, and then do insertion operator, and then we'll say size of, 
and end pointer is just int, and then the asterisk, and then we'll do the insertion operator, and then we'll say bytes, period, and then an indel. Uh, so let's save that and see what that looks like. So save it, build it, and now we'll run it. So it looks like the size of an int pointer on this particular system is four bytes. And you may be wondering, well, does it matter, you know, what type of pointer it is? So is it, you know, a double pointer, a float pointer, a short, long, whatever it may be. So let's uh, copy this and see the size of maybe another pointer. So let's say uh, we do a double pointer. So we got a double pointer here, and we'll change the uh, string. So we'll change that to double as well. Save that, and then build it, and then run it. And you can see that the uh, size of a double pointer is, in fact, the same as an end pointer. So all of our pointer values are four bytes. So they're just an address on the system. So this is a 32-bit uh, uh, address that's being used to refer to or hold the address of an int or a double or whatever it may be. So we got a 32-bit uh, addressing system that's being used on this particular computer. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you about the size of operator and how to use the size of operator. So we saw that with the, some of the primitive data types and also using the array and being able to calculate the number of elements in the array and also using it to uh, calculate the size of a pointer. So uh, that's it for this video.